everyone. As you can probably tell by the title as well as thumbnail, I am going to be briefly addressing the film The Peanuts Movie, uh, which is an animated film, and hence Animation Friday's video is going to revolve around this. And I thought it would be interesting to do it in this particular uh, segment, at least, of my channel, considering the fact that it is not only an animated film, but one that is, I think, one of the most highly anticipated of this particular film year. Um, I believe that uh, Pixar's film Inside uh, Out did get a lot of recognition and praise, although I did not really see that film. And I think for, for some reason the Peanuts uh, interested me more only because I'm fairly familiar with it, and uh, I felt that there was a lot of potential for this film, especially from seeing the trailers. Um, so, without further ado, let me address this film. Um, overall, I think this is a very impressive animated film, uh, because it does what you would not only expect from a film that revolves around the Peanuts, to do, but it expands it upon expand, expands upon it, and in doing so, uh, it creates an actual full-length feature film that is engaging and ultimately offers, I think, a good story. Um, so, basically, throughout the film, we see the main character, technically, of pretty much all of the Peanuts shorts. Uh, the character Charlie Brown, and he ends up um, having feelings for the new girl that comes into the neighborhood and eventually goes to Charlie Brown's school. And throughout the movie, he's trying to impress her, but in the most brilliantest of fashion, um, which you would expect from something like the Peanuts to do, he oftentimes and really throughout the majority of the film makes mistakes and he runs into a lot of failure in his attempts to try to impress this little girl and she's called the little redhead girl uh, throughout the film and overall it's done in a fairly entertaining way and what I think ultimately sets this film in particular apart from other animated films, at least ones that try to appeal to the nostalgic factor, is again, it takes the nostalgia and it not only modernizes it with the animation, because primarily the animation you can probably tell uh, is within the 3D medium, um, but overall it still feels like a Peanuts movie. It still feels like the characters, you know. It it still maintains a certain level of um, artistry that, again, um, is updated but still resemblance of the old. And um, this is really where also the story uh, maintains the same level of, uh, of engagement and uh, of what you would expect from a lot of these other Peanuts shorts because it um, shows Charlie Brown in the most um, in, in the most Charlie Browniest of ways uh, in the sense that he is fairly optimistic throughout the film, although he does get discouraged now and again. And he's also um, a, a character that thinks through things morally, because you start to see how, um, as he's go trying to accomplish his goal of impressing the little redhead girl, uh, he ends up realizing that sometimes his own selfish needs uh, don't align with what is considered ethical. And you always see Charlie Brown making the sort of more ethical uh, decision. And I think that really uh, does stand out. And is I think a really good, um, interesting lesson to convey to children. Uh, and they do it in, in such a very refreshing way uh, that it's not only uh, impressive to 
uh, watch, but it's also uh, really rewarding in that sense because you really do see the whole journey as Charlie Brown tries to, you know, gain some more self, at least try to gain more self confidence within himself. And um, what also is great too is is, is a lot of the uh, side characters, um, even though Charlie Brown is the main focus, you're still maintain the same level of interest and engagement throughout and they're the same exact characters uh that you see in a lot of the peanut shorts like they really did not uh do that much as far as trying to uh make any changes within those arenas and i think that suits itself well um but uh, not only do we have uh, a Charlie Brown story, but we also have a Snoopy story. And although I think the Snoopy story you could have kind of scrapped and it probably wouldn't have made that much of a difference, um, its overall creativity and imagination, I think, really does appeal to children. And I can understand why they would want to have a sort of side story kind of going on as you have the main story of Charlie Brown trying to impress the redhead girl. So ultimately, overall, it feels really well-rounded for a Peanuts movie. And this was really the first attempt at it. And I think uh, it definitely suits itself well. I mean, it really does feel modern in a way uh, because you do feel like that the kids uh, are very kind of well-rounded and uh, what you would expect um, and at the same time there's also a certain level of uh, again resemblance to the original uh, shorts and comic strips of uh, Charlie Brown so again a per perfect example of taking something that um, was part of another generation and introducing it to a completely new generation. I think this is the most well done animated film that I've seen throughout this entire year. Um, I think it was really impressive. And for even a G rated movie, it still feels like it tries to get kind of a overall adult sort of message across to people. And that's largely, um, looking at things uh, and looking at life, you know, more uh, optimistically and, uh, you know, trying to um, overcome certain obstacles. And uh, again, I, I, I'm surprised for a G-rated film because usually uh, a lot of the times, especially nowadays, I don't think we see that many G-rated G -rated films because a lot of, um, at least I think in particular animators like to push the envelope and try to make funny adult naughty jokes. Um, but here, you know, you can tell that that did not need to be a part of this movie. And uh, they just needed to tell a simple and yet innocent story. And at the same time, get something uh, across that can appeal both to kids and adults. And I think it definitely... Uh, does especially when you look at Charlie Brown's character and what he goes through as he is trying to ultimately accomplish uh, his goal and it, it's overall adorable I mean just the the amount of um, creativity and the the cuteness uh, that is within this film is just so contagious it's very likable and you do feel like that there is um, that there is this kind of, I don't know, it's just like, it gets you into that good childhood mood, uh, I would say. Um, but I think that's really ultimately all I can say about this uh, particular film. It's a really well done uh, adaptation and one that I think definitely not only appeals to the modern age of kids, um, but also, again, takes what was originally there and sort of uh, creates something out of it that's uh, what you, not only what you would expect, but actually expands upon it and actually exceeds, I think, expectations. Because I didn't have really a huge amount uh, going into this film. I thought it would just be kind of simple 
um, and the stories would be fairly simplified. But here there was actually a little bit more of a complexity to it uh, than usually what you expect a lot of the times from the shorts, because again, the shorts are relatively short. Uh, this is an entire feature length film. So, um, but uh, at the end of the day, though, I think that's really ultimately all I can say. I would definitely recommend it. The uh, again, the animation is is great, and the voices all sound exactly like the voices that you hear uh, from the Charlie Brown shorts. Uh, also, the adults don't say anything, which is great. They they kept that in there, so they they really did. Again, they did have a great a good job tra they just did a great job transferring it over and creating an actual feature length film out of it because overall I was thoroughly engaged throughout um I don't think there was a point where I felt fairly uh bored uh because you know there is just something about this whole way they approached it that I think ultimately works uh and uh really brings it all full circle but uh yeah, I think, though, that's really ultimately all I can say without really giving too much away. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a pleasant day, week, month, and year, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.